Um, right, here's some more about um, assigning arrays and um, what we're doing down here is uh, just sort of um, slicing them up. So here we've got a three-dimensional array and uh, we specified all the dimensions here all in one go when we created it and uh, if we take just the uh, um, the element number three from the uh, first index first dimension what we get is a two-dimensional array and this is the last element of course because it goes from 0 to 3 and if we specify the first two indices we're going to get a one-dimensional array and if we specify all of the indices there uh, we get just type T of course what you can't do is something like this which is specify the last two and leave the first um, unspecified because uh, that's not an array at all and if you try and do that you'll get a compiler error okay next is um, null and um, um, any reference can be set to null uh, it doesn't matter what it is and uh, uh, null can be changed into any reference so um, if we set uh, this array AT there to be null, we can store it in an object and from that object we can take out anything we want. It doesn't matter about its dimension, or what it is, or anything at all. But he, of course you don't get anywhere because <laughs> they're, they're all, all you've done is just set null to all of those. And um, uh, you cannot dereference null. If you, if you try and use it in any way, other than simply set something to it, you you get a null pointer exception at runtime. So you can't actually use this FA there at all as if it was a floating array because it's null. You can't dereference null. Right now, um, arrays, uh, well, objects that are arrays know their um, uh, type, it says, I think it should say class really. Um, and um, here's an example of what that means. Um, here we've got a variable there and it's um, of type object array and we're using it to refer to an object of class uh, my class array of length 5. Um, now as far as the compiler is concerned um, being an object array you can store any object in it so as far as the compiler is concerned this is okay but what happens is that at runtime uh, the system uh, knows that um, OA um, refers to uh, my class array and uh, my class and string are different so that would give a runtime error now um, gen in general um, the only way to uh, refer to, the only way to get to an object is, is by a reference and the type of that reference controls your view of that object basically so although the object may have a particular class uh, in this case it's uh, my class array the uh, way you're referring to it in this case through through this reference is going to restrict your view of it so it appears to be uh, just object array although in fact it isn't of course it's it's really uh, my class array uh, 